Jim, just give us your thoughts going into this one this weekend, last game before this uh, break. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, another difficult game. You know, I think um, Ross County have pretty much slipped under the radar up to now. Uh, but I think, you know, Don Kelly has done a, a terrific job. Um, I was at their game last weekend against St Mirren and they're very well organised, very well drilled. Um, you know, they've got some good players at the top end of the pitch that can cause us problems. We know that. When we played them uh, in Dingwall at the early part of the, the season, they gave us a real tough time in the first 45 minutes and we had to make one or two changes ourselves to uh, to make sure we'd done better in the second half um, so yeah they're a good side they've picked up you know a decent amount of points up to now and I'm pretty sure Don Kelly will be will be very pleased with what he's witnessed uh, at this point of the season I think they're coming into this game on the back of having two good clean sheets as well against St Mirren and Hibbs in the last two games so we know um, we know it's going to be a tough one but you know obviously the the uh, expectation is there for us being the home team in front of um, you know a demanding home support to uh, to go and take the game to them. When you look at the league table, uh, Ross County, for all the plaudits that the likes of yourselves and Aberdeen have been getting this season, Ross County aren't that far behind. Yeah. But I guess as a manager, you'll always want to look above you. You've got Rangers in striking distance. Is that is, is catching them a, a, a target for you? Um, I think we just gotta you know take it week to week. To be honest, you know I mean we're not too focused on the league table at this point you know I think when you get to kind of the the first half of the the season being over around about Christmas January time then I think you know the league um, you know you can take a bit more interest in it then but from now you know we're not trying to get too carried away we think we've we've performed well our points return in the opening 11 league games has been very positive um, I think most people from a Dundee United perspective you know would have took the position that we're in um, you know prior to the league's starting given us being the newly promoted team and the amount of new recruits that we had to bring in in the summer but we're not getting carried away ourselves you know I think we've we've rolled our luck at times there's been other times where we've played really well um, and there's been you know a number of situations this year where we've had to show good character to come from losing positions to take something from the game so um, I still think we can improve I think we're coming off the back of a really tough week where there's three games in the week with the amount of injuries that we've had it's been extremely demanding for the group that's been available to us but um, it would be great to finish off this round of fixtures going into the international break still in fourth position I think that would be fantastic I mean, you played 11 games that's obviously a third of the pre-split fixtures isn't mm -hmm. it it's still a long way to go but if you were preparing an early season report card and, and just take a step back and assess this kind of first block of eleven games. I mean, how, how would you, how would you assess it? I mean, have you have you progressed faster than you you, you thought you maybe would have as a group? Um, I mean, look, we, we had great confidence in the recruitment that we'd done. I mean, obviously, you know, there was a big turnover of players in the summer, and uh, we managed to retain the the ones that we wanted. Uh, that you know played a big part in getting us promoted last season. But you know, the league hasn't surprised us in any way I mean every single game that we've been involved in has been you know really tight really competitive not a great deal between any of the teams we haven't played Celtic yet um, and you know we know how good they're going at the moment both domestically and in Europe so that itself throws up a different uh, you know proposition but in all of the games that we've played up to now we can only judge it on that and we've had some terrific results you know in the last couple of weeks we've taken four points off Hibs obviously had a uh, a win at Tynecastle a few weeks back. I think it's the first time in 13 or 14 years since Dundee United have done that. Um, you know, narrowly beaten the Pataudry, narrowly beaten at home to Rangers. So um, I think the players can be very pleased for what they've done. But I do still believe that there's a lot more to come from us as a group. And I think when we get the whole squad back and we we uh, we get the injured players back in, I think we've got a really competitive squad of players. What's your team news? Where are you with injuries and bumps and bruises? Well, unfortunately, Trapanovsky uh, limped off uh, not long after coming on in the second half last weekend. Um, you know, we deliberately never started him in the game because he'd played a part in the previous two. Uh, and as I said, you know, three games in a week can be demanding. So we left him on the bench in the hope that he would be able to come on and make a positive impact. He was 100% fit before the game, but unfortunately, you know, just uh, tweaked that same hamstring again. Um, during the few minutes he was on the pitch so he unfortunately will be out this weekend uh, we're not going to put a, a time scale on it just now I think it's too early to call 
Um, Doherty is making good progress. Ross Graham and Louis Moult are both making good progress as well. Whether this weekend is too early or not, uh, we'll make that decision tomorrow. And um, obviously Craig Sibbald is the long-term absentee at the moment. Um, so, yeah, we don't have our uh, problems to look for in terms of injuries, but you know, credit to the players who are, are available and have been available uh, consistently um, for managing to get the kind of results that we've got to at this stage. How important is it to get the three points against Ross County this weekend and sort of maintain your position at the top end of the table? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, every game we go into, we, we, we try and win it. You know, um, each team throws up its own different challenges in terms of formations and personnel. Um, but we are the home team on Saturday and we have to be positive from the outset. We didn't perform well in the first half against Hibs at Easter Road um, last weekend. And, um, you know, we made some changes at half time that I thought made us better and we were able to get farther up the pitch. Um, and we finished the the game strongly and you know deservedly I felt on the day took a point but um, at home in front of an expecting crowd you know we have to do better we performed really well in the Motherwell game um, unfortunately lost the game 2-1 but actually played some of our better football of the season in that particular evening so we're looking for a repeat performance in terms of possession and the, the creativity that we showed on that night and just a little bit more clinical in front of goal I think and hopefully that will be enough to get us the result that we want. You mentioned that draw you managed to secure with the, the, the late equaliser against Hibs. How pleased were you with the composure of Sam Dalby you know, stepping up to take that late penalty? Yeah, Sam has been great. I think that's three goals now in the last four games. He was unlucky as well um, you know, to have a goal chalked off uh, in the second half um, against Hibs, was it, I think, again? Um, so, yeah, it could be sitting here four and four for the big man. But, look, you want your strikers... To, to be in amongst the goals is great for confidence, it's great for the team as well. Um, and you know, given that Louis Moult has been out for a number of weeks, there's been a lot asked of Sam and Jort van der Sand um, in recent weeks. So we're really pleased for the big fella. Um, you know, he's he's a handful in itself in terms of his physicality and his strength, but he's a really, really good footballer as well and, and showed great composure in, um, so late on in the game against Hibs at Easter Road. Um. You are the newly promoted team in the league and you've spoken about you know, the, the, the trouble that you've not had to seek in injuries. Do you think you've surprised a lot of other teams? Um, I don't know whether we've surprised a lot of teams. I think when people think about Dundee United and they see the badge, I think they expect a club of this size to be up there competing. But I think when people take a step back and, and realise the hard work that's been put in to, to get us in the position that we're in just now, I think there's, you know, a lot of people behind the scenes deserve a, a lot of credit. You know, um, as I said, you know, newly promoted, we've had to sign 13 new players to get all of those guys to gel so quickly and adapt to the Scottish game. It's been, it's been remarkable, really. But it, we're not getting carried away. Believe me, you know, we know how difficult the challenge is going to be to stay in the top six. Um, I expect Hearts and Hibs both to improve with the quality of players that both those clubs have got available to them. Um, Dundee are right up there. Um, you know, St Mirren again will be wanting to get the points on the board to push for that top six. And obviously Ross County, as we touched on, you know, they're right there along with Motherwell. So there's so much still to play for. And if you just if you drop the standards by a couple of percent, then things can change dramatically. And um, you know we just have to focus on the next game, and that's Ross County. It would be fantastic to get three points to stay in fourth, going into the third international break of the season. I think that would be a, a really good return for the players. And perhaps you know some teams at the lower end of the league that you might not perhaps expect to see there. Does that just show how competitive um, it is? Uh, definitely, yeah. I mean, look, it it, it takes. Um, I think we're all a bit surprised to see Hearts and, and Hibs down there. You know, Hearts had an incredible season last year. Were um, you know deservedly finished where they finished. They were the, the next best team out with Celtic and Rangers. I think we're all a little bit surprised at how they started this campaign. Um, and Hibs as well. You know, I, I look at the quality and strength and depth that both those teams have got in terms of the squad available to them. And I think they're in a, a false position, if I'm being honest. You know. I, I do believe that both those teams will climb the table um, and we just have to focus on, on what we can do and just you know make sure that we keep working hard and training. As I said, it would be nice to get some of those injured lads back in to make it a bit more competitive. Um, 
and then in January, you know, we can assess things in January when that window comes around and see if there's an opportunity to strengthen in certain areas. Thank you. Thank Jim, United have scored uh, quite a lot of uh, late, late goals this season. You must be delighted with the players kind of never say die attitude. That's a good thing to have, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's something you know that we're trying to create here. You know that type of culture where. Um, you know, we, we drive that every day in training, whether it's in you know small-sided games, five v fives, eight v eights, or even in eleven v elevens. Um, the team that's losing, you know, we try and encourage them never to give up. And I think you're seeing that happen on a regular basis um, in the competitive matches at the weekend. Now, don't get me wrong, we we don't want to continue to be having to chase games. And I, I think you know the first goal in this league is so important. And in, in the last few fixtures, you know, we've in a number of the fixtures where we've picked up important points we've had to come from losing positions but it is great to have that type of mindset and to have that strength and character and um, you know you need a good team spirit you need good togetherness and the players have shown that numerous occasions already and big york yet to get off the mark does he just need a, a spark a goal uh, just to get him up and running yeah i mean look i've spoken to york to, and, and all of the strikers in fact on numerous occasions um you know i know how they judge themselves is by goals and I know a lot of people, supporters and media will judge strikers on goal return but for me as manager, you know, there's a, a bit more to that position than just putting the ball in the back of the net. You know, they have to be real team players, they have to work hard for the team out of possession, uh, linking up the game with midfielders and, you know, Yort on a couple of occasions in the early part of the season unselfishly squared a couple along the face for one of his teammates to tap into an empty net. Um, so, you know, the big man could have easily took those opportunities on himself and got himself up and running. And it's that type of personality that I really like in the team because there's no ego there. It's a, a, an unselfishness towards the team. And that's what's most important to me. He made a really big impact coming off the bench against Hibs on Saturday. Both him and Sam Dalby were a, a real handful for the Hibs back line. And, um, you know, hopefully, if given the opportunity again on Saturday, he can continue in that vein against Ross County. Is that the sort of front pairing that you can maybe see? Could they work together as a, a strike too effectively? Well, we've only got two strikers at the moment available to us with the injury to Louis Moult. And, um, you know, we've been reluctant to start with both in games because, you know, depending on how the game pans out, you don't then have any other options in the forward area to, to come onto the pitch. So, you know, we are trying to manage the squad as best we can. Um, but, you know, there is the flexibility within it to go with two or sometimes to play with one. And, you know, there's been many times this season where we've played with a front three. So, um, you know, we've got really good options within the team and that's uh, hopefully keep the opposition on their toes as well with regards to not knowing what way we're going to start the game. Thanks, Jim. Thanks. Ross County haven't scored a lot of goals this season, but on the other hand, they haven't conceded a lot either. Mm -hmm. Does that make the position for Dundee United this weekend possibly one of the more difficult games to go compared to some of the other games you've had? Um, I think they're really well organised, Ross County. Uh, they're coming into this game off the back of two clean sheets against St Mirren and Hibbs, respectively. Um, so that tells me they're really well organised. You know, they defend the box well. They get lots of bodies back in behind the ball. I think, being the away team, um, you know, they'll be quite happy to sit in there in the low block and try and frustrate us and try and frustrate the home support. But you know, we uh, we have to just come up with solutions to try and break them down. And um, you know, it's going to be a difficult game. They're very dangerous on the counter attack. They've got good pace, good energy in the middle of the park, and obviously they've got the young lad Hale at the top end who. Uh, make some very clever runs so you know we have to be uh, at our best defensively we have to get back to keeping clean sheets again our defensive record you know is up there with one of the best in the league but you know I, I feel we've um, we've been shooting ourselves in the foot in, in recent weeks in terms of the goals that we've conceded I think we need to get back to being ruthless in both boxes you know taking real pride in clean sheets and um, I always think that's a, a good platform to build on you're back at Tannadice, the big home support behind you from there. How important is it for them to show patience this weekend because of the type of game that you're going to have to play against, Ross County? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think the you know the, the supporters have been have been different class all season, you know, and hence why we're getting so many through the gates at Tannadice and home games and even on the road. Um, you know, they travel in their hundreds and um, you know, they have always been a really good support to the team and I think when I think back to the Hibs game where we're 2-1 down 
you know, the reaction within the stadium wasn't actually a negative one. They they really, you know, motivated the players and got behind them and drove them on and I think that positivity coming from the stands can certainly help. Um, it certainly helps the younger players within the squad and, um, you know, um, so yeah, we, we, we hope to give the supporters something to cheer about. I think as players and as a manager, you know, the onus is on us to excite them and to get them out of their seats and to give them something to cheer about and I think like any supporter of any team out there, you want to see uh, players who are committed, you know, to the jersey, who give everything, and you know that's what we expect to do on Saturday. And hopefully, like I said, we can keep a clean sheet and we can score a couple of goals along the way. Last international break before probably March or, or next year. Although it's good to have the players involved, are you kind of glad to see the back of this year? We get continuity from now till March. Well, we'll be short of bodies, no doubt. Um, next week for training given the injuries that we have and then given the the number of players who will, will be away on international duty we'll have uh, hope to have one possibly two involved 21s and then the likes of Odada and uh, Babunski Van der Sand we would expect them to be in their respective international squads as well so um, you know we want the guys to get that international recognition you know I think it's good for them as individuals and it's good for us as a club to have you know, done the United players um, out there on the European stage or uh, on the African stage when it comes to Odada. So it's uh, it can only be a positive. But of course, as a manager, you're, you're hoping that you know nothing else happens and that they all come back unscathed from the travels and uh, in a good frame of mind to to go and kick on again in the next competitive game.